Number 68. Automobile airbags are inflated with nitrogen gas, which is formed by the decomposition of solid sodium azide, which is NaN3. The other product is sodium metal. Calculate the volume of nitrogen gas at 27 degrees Celsius and 756 torr formed by the decomposition of 125 grams of sodium azide. Okay, so first things first here is that we're trying to find a volume of one thing. We're trying to find the volume of nitrogen gas. And then they're giving us information about another compound, sodium azide, which is this NaN3. When they're asking you for a question of one thing and they give you information for another, chances are you're going to have to write a balanced equation. Now, they did tell us that this was a decomposition, right? We're decomposing sodium azide. Does it really matter what the state is? No, <laughs> right? So it's a solid. Who cares, right? Sodium azide, which is NaN3. So I'm going to start with that. I have NaN3, and this is decomposing into nitrogen gas, and then they said the other product was sodium metal. So I have N2. Does it matter that it's a gas? No. And then plus, the other one was sodium metal. Now remember, sodium is not a diatomic, so we have to just say Na. And that's how I knew to write N2, because nitrogen is one of the diatomics. You have to memorize your diatomics, okay guys? So now here is what I got. I got NaN3 decomposing into N2 plus Na. Just writing the equation. Remember, you always got to make sure it's balanced. So if you want to pause the video, try to balance it and then check with my answer. That's fine with me. This is going to kind of be a review because we went over this balancing already, right? There's three nitrogens on the left side. There's two nitrogens on the right side. So the easiest would just be to put a three in front of the N and a two in front of this one. There's two sodiums. So I'm going to put a two here and call it a day. Okay. Now let's write down everything that they gave us. They want us to find the volume of the nitrogen gas. That's this. So V equals question mark. And they're telling us more information. We want to find the volume of nitrogen gas at this certain temperature. So it's at this temperature of the N2. So I have a temperature for the N2, 27 degrees Celsius, and they told me a pressure. Remember, tor is a pressure value, right? So they all go together. I'm trying to find the volume at this temperature and the pressure, which is 756 tor. And then they're saying that we're also decomposing 125 grams of the sodium azide, which is this compound. So... They're just giving me this. Okay, cool. So now, since the question's asking for N2, I'm going to think of formulas in which I have a temperature, I got a pressure, and I'm trying to search for the volume. This one looks to me like the ideal gas law, which is this. PV equals NRT. Now remember, the R value has that specific gas constant, right guys? It's 0 0.0821. Some professors might want you to memorize 8206, but in my eyes, a six rounds the zero up to a one, and the less numbers, the better. <laughs> so 0 0.0821, and that's ATM times liter divided by mole times Kelvin. So the R value has all of the units that you have to use. So for example, the pressure has to be an ATM. Oh boy, they gave it to us in TOR. So the first thing is I have to convert from TOR into ATM. Now we can do dimensional analysis with this, but you should also kind of get familiar with memorizing your short, uh, you know, short, uh, like your, uh, you know, basically going from one, you know, one unit to another by either multiplying or dividing. Remember, one ATM equals 760 TOR. So if you need to go from TOR to ATM, all you got to do is just divide by 760. If you were going vice versa, you would times by 760. So in this case, I'm going to take my 756 and divide by 760. I'm going to not to try. 
I'm going to try not to round as much because this is not the final answer. So you always want to have, have more sig figs than needed if, if we care about sig figs, right? So point nine, nine, four, seven, we'll say four. That's good enough. And now we know the pressure. We're searching for the volume. So I don't know what this is, V. So that means that I need to know the rest of these three. Well, we know the R value and the temperature has to be in Kelvin. Of course, they're gonna give it to us in Celsius. So we need to go from Celsius to, and maybe if I just bring this down, I need to go from Celsius to Kelvin. That one's an easy one. All you gotta do is plus 273 or you could plus 273.15, but this should do it. So 27 plus 273 is 300. 300 Kelvin. And now I have this. Now let's see the N value. Remember N is moles. Now you have to be specific. If you're looking for the volume of N2, you need to know the moles of N2. You can't find the volume of one compound and plug in another one's moles. But they didn't tell me anything, right? They didn't tell me what the moles were. So that seems like the next step. Oh, that's why they gave this to us. This is now going all the way back to stoichiometry, right? In which I have a mass of one compound and I use my balance equation to go to the other compound. In this case, we have 100 and 25 grams, maybe I'll put that in a different color, grams of NaN3, and we want to go to the moles of N2. Remember, the only way that you can convert from one compound to another is through the unit of moles. So I can't do this in one shot. I have to bring this into moles of NaN3. And then from there, I can get my moles of N2. So let's go for it. 125 grams of NaN3. We're just converting, so times by the ratio. Throw the unit you don't want on the bottom, grams of NaN3. And then moles of NaN3 up on the top. Okie dokie. Gram to mole of the same compound is always the periodic table, right guys? One mole on the periodic table is whatever the compound is. So let's see, Na, 22.99, plus three times 14.01, 65.02. Cancel out the grams, and now I'm not at the unit I want. I still want moles of N2, so let's just keep going with it. Times by the ratio again. Throw that unit that you don't want on the bottom. So moles of NaN3 go on the bottom. Moles of N2 now go on the top. A mole-to-mole -mole conversion of different compounds. That's the beer. The beer. <laughs> I was going to say the periodic table. It's the, <laughs> it's the balanced equation, right? Just look for those coefficients. We're only considering N2 and NaN3. This is why the balanced equation is so important. There was a three in front of the N2, so I have to put a three here, and a two in front of the NaN3, so two. If we didn't balance this, it would be one to one, and that's when the math goes a little off. So always remember to balance, okay guys? So cancel that out, let's do this math. 125 times three, divided by 65.02, divided again by two, since it's still not the uh, answer, I'm still not going to round. I'm going to try to bring it out as much as I can. 2.8837. That's good enough. Uh, we could add a three here, but who cares, right? Moles of N2. I think we did enough, enough numbers. So we found out the moles. So now I know that the moles is 2.8837 moles of N2, and now we have that number. Now we can use this equation to solve for the volume. So let's go. I'm just gonna like box this off, and I'm gonna work from left to right. 
So the pressure in ATM, 0 0.99474, times by the volume, which is x. This equals the moles, which we just found, 2.8837, times by the R value, 0 0.0821, times by the temperature, 300 Kelvin. And looks like I want to solve for x, so I'm just going to divide on both sides by the 0 0.99474. 0 0.99474. This cancels out. We're left with x. And remember, x is the volume. So 2.8837 times 0 0.0821 times 300 divided by 0.99474. This is where we're going to be looking for sig figs. Three sig figs to me. Does anybody care? No. But 71.4. Remember, the L value, or L value, the liters is the volume. So when you're doing this, this has to be in liters. So 71.4 liters of N2. And there you go. That's it, guys. So a little bit of stoic. A little bit of PV equals NRT. Good match. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in later lessons. Bye-bye.